Boom, here we are, Inner Jiu Jitsu. My man, Professor Phil Cardella, we're right here in the oldest city in the United States of America, St. Augustine. Professor Phil just showed amazing techniques. He was so gracious, and he's one of the original old school black belts, American black belts that came out of the academies back in the day. So I had to interview him and just ask him a couple things about, you know, how does Professor Phil apply jujitsu off the mats into life? So, Professor, it's all yours. Thank you for having me, and I'm also I'm very happy to be here for the, the, the book, I guess. You know, we're talking about how jujitsu applies to life. I teach every day. I'm a full-time instructor. I'm an Army combatives instructor. I used to teach Marines mm -hmm. how to shoot and swim. Teaching jiu-jitsu to people that want to come and learn I think is really easy. So that being said, it's a lot of fun for me and I see a lot of times where I get to help invest in people and I get to improve their lives. I know jiu-jitsu definitely makes personal character growth. If you're training jiu-jitsu, you're going to learn so many life skills. You're going to learn how to For sure. not sweat the small stuff, how to work under pressure, how to problem solve, how to properly multitask, how to prioritize and accomplish. You're going to get tougher, you're going to get stronger, you're going to get mentally stronger. And at that point, you know, the jiu-jitsu comes off the mat and it goes to life. Whenever you go and you're dealing with people, you have to recognize at some point that you can apply your verbal jujitsu, which is a term we use. I think Love it's a that. good one. And uh, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, with, with men, you know, the golden punk card is who can beat who up, right? Well, that means basically who's gonna get a uh, assault charge a lot of the times. And, you know, you, you don't wanna deal with that nonsense. So a lot of the times before people put hands on each other, we're dealing with the verbal jujitsu. Mm -hmm. If you have the confidence in your skills, you don't necessarily have to go and strangle every turd you see because then your hands get crap on them. That's and awesome. we're not about that, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. just keep your hands clean. You don't want nice. that on your shirt either or your shoe so stay away if you see a stupid person stay away from them you don't want to be uh dealing with people like that dodge them and then you don't want to be the person arguing with the village idiot because from afar it's hard to tell which one's which right so <laughs> nice. uh, some a little fun terms but uh my wisdom thought, right there yeah, that's total wisdom, wisdom right there a little bit of wisdom you know i'm 41 now so uh not the the boisterous young man i used to be but I, i've learned how to use some jujitsu life uh, I learn how to not sweat the small stuff. Someone exactly. comes at me with some nonsense. I know it's more about them and their negativity in their life and yeah. not about me. I live by the ocean. I, I get to surf when I want. I spearfish. I train jujitsu all day. Wonderful fiance. My life is beautiful. So I don't have to worry about someone coming at me with negativity in their life. They bring it to me. I just deflect it, put it back on them. No big deal. I do not sweat the small stuff. Someone comes up and runs their mouth at me. I'm looking at them. It's like the pit bull looking at the Pekingese that's yapping. <laughs> yeah, you nice. could bit their head off a little bit, but you don't need to bite their head off. Off, just look at them and throw some verbal jujitsu back at them. Someone comes up to me and says something. First thing, don't sweat the small stuff. Second thing, you don't necessarily have to use all your power and technique if you don't need to. Efficiency. Efficiency yeah. is very important and recognize what you're dealing with. And then at that point, using verbal jujitsu is always good. If someone comes at you and you stand there confidently, you don't give them any opportunity. And then you don't humor the negative conversation people have. You're going to be in a better mindset to deal with the stupidity they're trying to bring at you. And then when they come with that forward pressure, you direct it right back at them. They come at you, hey man, you know, you're this and that. Huh? Yeah, well last week I was this and that plus this. So you need to go train your, come, you know, go, go practice a little more, come see me next week. And then, you know, if you really want to talk to me, you can step in my office, you know, we can deal with it that way. But a lot of times, you know, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna see you're not interested, they're gonna move away, and they're not gonna be uh, trying to, to pick and pick at someone that just, doesn't humor the circumstances. So I think that's a little bit about how to apply jujitsu to life. If you're training hard, you know at some point you're working under pressure. You're problem solving, you're multitasking, you're not swaying the small stuff, you're prioritizing and accomplishing. Mm -hmm. How many of those traits are something that someone would want in a good employee or a boss? So I think that's kind of uh, the power you can have with applying jujitsu to life. Man, you know, this is incredible. You totally nailed it. This is exactly what my book's all about. It's literally like, just basically in like a, a jiu-jitsu studio or a jiu-jitsu school, you learn techniques that are very specific and technique oriented, and then you apply it to, you know, a combative situation. My book's the same thing. I get very specific. I don't stay in the, like, the abstract philosophy. Very inspired by Tony Robbins. In fact, I just got back from a Tony Robbins event. That's why I'm here in Florida. So, Professor, I really can't thank you enough. Thanks for giving your time and your energy. And we had, a, I saw a lot of guests here. There's like people from yeah. New York, people from Miami. So, uh, this is the, the oldest place. city in the United States. States, and you got Professor Old School Original Black Belt under Helsing Gracie. So if you're here in this area, you got to go train with Professor Phil. Please come see me. We're here uh, in St. Augustine. I've been here for seven years now. We're running a great academy here. I have three black belts here. Everybody's always welcome. It's a good place. We train today so we can train tomorrow, and we always welcome people, good people on our mats. Keep awesome. training. Aloha. Us. Inner Jiu-Jitsu. Thanks, Professor.